Hello there again. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can document your mathematical derivations in MathCAD. So you already know that MathCAD is very good at live mathematic expressions, but sometimes before you actually give the final uh, derivation formula with which you're going to do your analysis, you'd like to do some derivation. Um, so let's say that I have this circuit and I want to solve uh, I basically want to derive the transfer function from the input to the output. So I need to do some um, node analysis. And so you know you can write some text by uh, doing a, a double quote that puts you into a text box. And so I here I can say um, we start the analysis by writing Kirchhoff's current law at the positive node of um, the capacity, the positive um, output node. Okay. You can also start text by just typing. So if I say hello, it thinks it's math. Then I press the space because uh, my word is finished. And then MathCAD determines, oh, you're not writing a math expression, you're writing text. And from then on, it's a text box. Okay. So let me write um, the expression for. Uh, current, we would have, uh, let's see, KCL would say that um, I of R1, that's current flowing from left to right to R1, is equal to, now if I use the assignment statement like this, and I say equal to I C1, current flowing down through the capacitor, and I hit return, it's going to complain because it says this variable is not defined. What we want to use in this case is actually the Boolean equality. Uh, which is control equal and you can find it right up here it's kind of a thicker equal sign and there you see it's accessed by doing control equal uh, it is useful for doing things like um, if i said nine is equal to or seven is equal to eight and i want to evaluate that it's really doing a test. It's saying, is 7 equal to 8? No, it's not. If I change this to 7, equal to 7? Yes, it is. Or better yet, if I say, is it equal to x? And here I say x is equal to 1, then no. But if x is equal to 7, then yes, it is. So that's how the Boolean equality um, is usually uh, made use of. But it's very useful here for just doing mathematical derivations. Now MathCAD doesn't complain because I'm not actually making an assigned statement, so it doesn't need to know uh, whether IAC1 is defined. Now I want to write uh, my next statement, which is I want to define what IR1 is. So note this is a mathematical expression. I've got my blue box around there. Control equal. And now what's the current? It's going to be VG. And I can be as sloppy or neat as I want. I can say of T. I could say here I, I show it in terms of complex frequency. I can put S. But since this is not live math, I'm not going to use it to evaluate anything. This is only for the reader's um, benefit so they understand the analysis. So I'm going to just leave that off of there. Okay, IR1 is equal to VG minus VC over R1. And I of C1, control equal, is equal to what? C1 times DV dt. So I need to get my derivative up here, right here. Uh, dt uh, vfc if I don't uh, like these bars x there all right then I could say something like I can actually combine text and math so I'll start writing uh, a math uh, text statement by saying uh, therefore of course it thinks it's math here Therefore, comma, well, I better put a space there first, not turns it to text. Therefore, comma. And then if I, I wanted to say, well, therefore, now I want to plug in the expressions for IR1 and, I, and IC1 and equate them. And I want to do that in a math expression. So in line with the text, I can insert a math expression by doing Control shift a I think it's in here. Yeah, math region. In, in, insert a math region control shift a so that's the shortcut now i can i can go up here copy it go down here paste it hit insert hit control equal go up here control c go down here 
control v paste it in there okay and then I can move on with if I move my cursor to the right it'll go back to the text okay which simplifies to and then I could do an e return and here I'm going to I'm going to redefine r1 I'm going to multiply through by r1 and then r1 times c1 is what I call tau so t control g times oh I want to put a math region in so I do control shift a t control g times and then I want to do the derivative of uh, the capacitor voltage okay plus vc is control equal to vg all right now notice because I wrote this as all one statement it moves together now you can also have incidentally live math statements in line here so for instance I could say um, let control shift a r1 equal one kilo ohm I just did the right arrow key there and control shift a c1 colon equal 100 nanofarad right arrow key then control shift a tau is equal to r1 times c1 equal sign and you notice here I'm going to change this to milliseconds notice that it actually is a live math statement it has evaluated here but yet it's still all tied together so there you go I think that gives you enough to be able to include math derivations within uh, your your uh, narrative and uh, just be sure the key is use the boolean statement um, unless you know for instance at the end of my of, of the derivation you may end up after you've done all of this you may in the case of the lab that you're working on all of this is done to derive the transfer function so at the very end you could have your final statement you could say h of s and instead of saying control or, or colon you could, or i'm sorry control shift control equal instead of doing the boolean you could actually do an assignment statement one over one plus s times tau and in this case this actually is an assignment but it's fine at this point because i've defined tau up above here already and so you've killed two birds with one stone in this sense you've actually um, presented the final result of your analysis and by the way that result is also a live mathematical statement which you will use later in your analysis or your uh, when you actually plot things and compute things